Welcome to another Tech Help with Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to see how to sort the data in a combo box. Today's question comes from Russ. It says, Dear Richard, I have a form parts, and on my form I search for four different things. One is the part number from a combo box. I don't recall if you explained in the beginner or expert classes if there's a way to put the part numbers I'm searching for in ascending order. My properties data resource is select part t dot part id comma part t dot part number from part t. Or did I miss it in class? I have all the beginner and expert classes, Russ. Well, Russ, yes, I certainly did cover that in class. I covered that in Access Beginner 8, where I show how to make a combo box that has a list of states that each customer can be from. So let's throw together a basic part table for you. Let's go to Create, Table Design. We have our part ID, that'll be our auto number, and a part number you're calling it. That'll be short text. And you can put other things in here like description and wherever, whatever other fields you want. I'm going to save this as my part T, my part table. I like to end all of my tables in the letter T. That's just one of my personal conve conventions. Define a primary key. Yes, that'll be my auto number. All right, let's throw a few bits of data in here. Let's widen that column out. And this is just going to be random part numbers. You might have some that are numeric. All right, these represent whatever parts you're selling. It doesn't matter. You can put another column in here if you want to see it when you drop the box down. For example, let's design this. Let's put in here description. And again, short text. Now we can put a description in here what each part number is. All right, let's say this is a tire. Tired? Yeah, that's what I am right now. I haven't had enough coffee yet. <laughs> tire, let's say this is a uh, TV. This is a radio. This is a PC. This is a Mac. And this is Captain Kirk. I don't know. I like to be silly. Okay, so we have basically our part ID, our part number, and our description. All right, so save that. Now, we have a form. So let's create a basic form real quick. Create form design. And this form is probably bound to some other table, but we're not going to get into that much detail today. I just want to show you how to sort the results in your combo box. So let's drop this down and find the combo box here. Drop it. Now, the wizard's going to start up. The wizard says, hey, where do you want to get your data from? Well, get the data from a table or query. Which table? The only one we have, part T. And now here's where it says, what fields do you want to have in this combo box? Let's bring over all three fields. The part ID, the auto number, we don't have to see. But I want to see the part number and the description. Now, you're only going to see one of these fields when you drop this box down. But that's OK. Next. Now, here's the big boy. This is what you wanted to know. What do you want to sort by? So drop this down and pick the field that you want to sort by. Part number ascending. All right? And you, if you have multiple fields you want to sort by, you can't, like last name, then first name, then whatever. All right, now here's what the box is going to look like when you drop it down. All right, you'll see the part number when it's closed, and then when it's open, you'll also see the description. Hide key column just means it hides that auto number. You don't have to see that. Next. All right, what label would you like? And then finish. All right, and let's shrink this form up because it's way too big. This is usually bound to something else, like an order form or whatever. But this is just to show you what's in here. And I am the kind of person where I have to have a little splash of color in my forms. I can't deal with that white background. OK, looks better. Perfect. Save this. This will be our part F or whatever it's designed on. Open it up. And now if we drop this down, you'll see this list is sorted. It's sorted alphanumerically, which means numbers are going to go first and then letters, and then they're going to go in order. So that's how you sort them, and you pick one here. That's how you sort them using the wizard. You can sort them with a different column based on the wizard. Now, once you got this already built, if you want to, you are you because you showed me in your question, you have the select statement there. If you go to design view, for people who are a little uh, curious and want to know, in the design view, here's the property sheet that pops up. Okay, and here's the select statement, very similar to what you had in your question. Here's your question. There's your select statement right there, right? Select part T, part ID. This is just telling Access what data to get and where to get it from. So here it is again in Access, right? Select part T, part ID, comma, part T, part number. Now I have a third field that I put in here, part T description. From part T. Now here's the part right there that sorts it. See that? That order by part number. That is part of the SQL statement, structured query language, the SQL statement. That, te that tells Access what to sort it by. You can change this if you want to. If you want to come right in here, change it to description. All right? And now Access will sort this list based on the description. I'm going to close this and reopen it so you can see. 
And now look at sorted by this right over here. See, so you can sort by any one of those fields you want. Again, that's design view, open up the properties, and it's right there. I'll put it back to part number. Ah, can't type today, part number. That's it. Now I cover this in my SQL seminar. All right, there's a link, the SQL seminar. The SQL seminar covers SQL in a lot more detail. All right, um, you don't need it. It's not something that you have to know in order to use access, like I just showed you. You can use the wizard. If you don't want to learn SQL, just delete the combo box, go back and run the wizard again, and it will ask you which field you want to sort by. All right, but if you want to learn SQL, there's so much more you can do with it. Check that link out there. There's all kinds of stuff you can learn in the SQL seminar that is more than just working with combo boxes. So that's that. That's your answer for your question on how do you sort your data in your combo box. Um, if you have a question that you want to see answered, submit it. There's my tech help page right there. Drop me an email. Let me know what you're looking for or post it in the description below this video. There's all the ways to keep in touch with what I'm doing. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, blog, all that stuff. A little bit of selfless promotion at the end of my videos. Watch my free Access Level 1 course. It's three hours long on YouTube. There's the link. And when you're done with level one, level two is just a dollar. You can sign up for it right there. Thanks for learning with Access Learning Zone, and we'll see you again soon.